Ever think about renting out a tricked out luxury villa and inviting all your boys or all your girls to a beautiful island for some fun in the sun? Jet skis and drinks and music. If so, sounds like you want to vacation like rapper, artist, actor, Drake. If you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be notified of uploads. One place that Drake loves to vacation is the beautiful island of Turks and Caicos. We've talked about Turks and Caicos here on the channel before. Turks and Caicos is a very attractive island located in the Caribbean. You find blue clear waters, warm, welcoming people who love to vibe out to Caribbean live music. And Turks and Caicos is really an island where if you have the right number of people and a decent budget, you can include a bit of luxury in your visit by lodging in one of the luxury private villas, which is exactly what Drake does. So we'll get to that. This island attracts lots of celebrities. It also attracts several real estate investors who'd like to build private villas for vacation rentals along beachfront property. And you can still find virgin land along the beach in Turks and Caicos for you to build your own private villa. If you'd like to learn more, you can click the link above to listen more to our previous video on investing in Turks and Caicos. In our last Turks and Caicos video is an interview that gives details if you are interested in connecting with a professional and finding out what it takes to buy in Turks and Caicos. So check it out. After the release of his album, Honestly Nevermind, Drake invited his friends to join him on the island. There was NBA superstar Kevin Durant, fellow musician J. Cole, Lil Yachty, who reportedly celebrated his birthday aboard Drake's private jet, and Jamaican artist Pop Khan. The great thing about this brocation is that each of these celebs had other things going on that they were working on while they were soaking up the sun and vacationing. J. Cole was preparing to put on his CEO hat to oversee Ari Lennox's next album, and Kevin Durant enjoyed himself as he was set to head back to Brooklyn for the next season after all trade talks fell through. Jamaican artist Pop Khan is a new addition to the friend group, but the Jamaican artist's new album titled Great Is He is set to come out on Drake's OVO sound label. So all of the guys were taking care of business in conjunction with their fun and relaxation activities. What kind of relaxation activities did these guys get into? They feasted on giant lobsters in between spa pampering and nighttime partying. Drake typically invites friends to come chill with him on the island when he's vacationing in Turks. It just makes things more fun. The guys broke out the jet skis, uploaded their fun to social media, and attracted lots of attention along the way, as expected. A group of successful, good-looking men or a group of good-looking women always attracts attention when you're on vacation. That's the cool thing about Turks and Caicos. Drake spends so much time on the island that during his more recent visit, he lodged in an expensive private villa at the beautiful Leeward Beach on the eastern side of Grace Bay. If you can afford it, this really is the way to go when you visit Turks and Caicos. You know, a lot of people go to Jamaica, people also go to the Dominican Republic, but you should definitely not overlook Turks and Caicos. It's a beautiful destination that ranks number five among American travelers who tend to visit the Caribbean island for vacation. There are a couple of lessons we can take from how Drake vacationed in Turks and Caicos. Lesson number one is surround yourself with productive people. All the people Drake invited to join him on vacation were not just his friends, but each of these men are successful in some way. Having a crew of people who are successful in their own respective fields can lend itself to a good time. The second lesson we can take is 
it's fine to vacation and unplug from the rest of the world, especially your job, but it's also fine to use your vacation as an opportunity to be productive. Some people have a philosophy of vacationing and cutting themselves off from work. I actually agree with this to a certain extent. I mean, if you're cutting yourself off from your job that you do on a regular, consistent basis to earn a living, I'm all about cutting that connection during vacation time. But if vacation is a time to unplug from your work and your regular job, then it can be a time to plug in to doing work that will advance your personal goals outside of work. Being in a place like Turks and Caicos, surrounded by water and island vibes and luxury villas, can be inspiring. You can use that inspiration from your vacation environment to push yourself closer towards your goals. So definitely check it out. You don't want to overlook this island. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen.